Alright guys, so it's been a while since I've done a tutorial, but uh, I'm back. Um, I, I guess I've just kind of like forgotten about the series. Uh, mostly because the hard drive wipe uh, that I suffered a few weeks ago, um, I, I lost all the my game files. So I had to generate new projects and all that shit. So if some of this code doesn't look like it used to be, then whatever. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the accelerometer, which you'll find in Android and iOS devices. Uh, I'm going to be testing on an Android device today because I'm not using a Mac, so I can't uh, using I can't use an iOS device. But okay, let's just get right to it. This gives me a picture on the screen right now, and that just shows the you know the axes of the device. Okay, so you got Y is up and down, X is left and right, and you got Z is back and forwards. We're going to be working with the X axis specifically today. Uh, so what I've got is we had Bill and Steve last time, but they were wiped as well through the hard drive wipes. We've got Gabe here. Uh, Gabe is a nice little turquoise kind of guy. You'll see him in a minute. Well, actually, you won't see him at all in this tutorial. <coughs> so we've got Gabe here, and uh, we're just going to render Gabe. So match dot fuck match dot draw assets dot Gabe. Alright, and we're going to give him an X and a Y. We're going to store these as integers. So, Gabe X and Gabe Y. Because we want to be changing his position based on... Actually, we're not going to be changing his Y. Okay, so we just need Gabe X. And we're just going to put this as, like, 540 or something. That should be okay. No, 960. That'll put it around the center-ish. Uh... Also, I have to mention, we have to flip these around because this is going to be a portrait app. I mean, you can do what you like, but I, I want this to be a portrait app. Mostly because it just follows the diagram. Uh, if you're going to be doing a landscape app, that you're going to be having to uh, play around with this a lot. <coughs> with uh, the axes, that is. Uh, okay, so now that we've got that, uh, just two things that I want to put out there before we start actually getting into accelerometer code. Um, if your you know, game isn't mobile only, so yours is a desktop, HTML5, and the mobile game, then you're going to want to check if the accelerometer is available before, you know, you do any accelerometer code. So what you'd you do is you'd have a boolean available or something like that, and then that would equal uh, gdx.input.is perif I can't say this word, peripheral, is that it? Peripheral? Uh, <laughs> available peripheral dot accelerometer and this can work for you know hardware keyboards compass so hardware keyboard can be useful if you're using an android phone and you uh, plug in a usb keyboard or a bluetooth keyboard on any device well touchscreen vibrator all this crap you know are they available so we're just going to check if the compass uh, sorry accelerometer is available compass uh i'm i'm not going to need that for now but you know that's, just, that's the code for it and there's also, if you want to know the orientation of the device, that would be int orientation, orientation equals gdx dot input dot get orientation. No? That method used to be that. Is it this one? Yeah, it's probably that one then. <laughs> it used to be get orientation. Okay, why? Okay, that must be it then. And then I assume, where did get orientation go? <laughs> that method was there. Then I assume orientation dot orientation dot. I assume it's going to be one of these landscape or portrait. Okay, that's how you get the orientation. Sorry about that. I've I've no idea where the method I wanted uh, went. Okay. And then, f in the general update, it's literally just one line, okay? It's going to be Gabe X. And you're going to have to play around with, you know, plus and minus with all these axes. But we're going to do minus equals. That that's how it works for X uh, in portrait. You know, you you're going to have to play around. GDX.input.getAccelerometer X. And that's literally it. And, uh, I'm just going to run this. Oh, whoops. Okay, before we run it. There's <coughs> two things you got to make sure of. In your main activity, cfg.useAccelerometer has to be true. And uh, in your my game Android manifest, um, make sure if you are changing your screen orientation, make sure you change the portrait. Otherwise, you are ready to go. So open up either the main activity or the uh, Android manifest. <coughs> then you're going to hit play. 
Is that yeah? And I will teach you how to uh, test with an Android device. Shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I will teach you how to test with an Android device in tutorial. I can actually give you the tutorial number. Tutorial forty nine. <laughs> tutorial forty nine or forty eight. Actually, I might I might push that back. But yeah, one of the latest tutorials, and then. But it does work. I can guarantee. I can guarantee you. Yeah, it's working right now. So again, with speeds, you'll have to like play around. I guess you're gonna have to mess around with all these. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> with all these values, you know, maybe like multiply them out or you know, plus them. You're gonna have to play around. Plus and minus is basically just gonna change the way around it goes. So this is right and left. Now it's inverted. It's it's really messy, okay? And you're just gonna have to play around with yourself. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, guys, for watching. Have a fantastic, brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.